Sheffield 57, the sponsor of this webcast, invites you to visit our re condominium residences. Good day. I'm Adrian Lavalley, and this is The Real Deal. You all knew this was coming. Big write-downs are expected on Wall Street. And Citigroup sells off a building and gets a new interim chairman. That and more on The Real Deal webcast this week. But first, some highlights from this week's interview. It's a hybrid that has developers all excited. Condo hotels are becoming all the rage in New York City, and there is more than one reason why. Real Deal reporter Jen Benepe spoke to Michael Chavo, the president of the Chavo Group, to learn more. Here are some highlights. Hybrid hotel and condo projects, they are the newest twist in real estate. What makes them so great? Buildings that have a hotel component to them, which is your standard hotel rooms, and then have condominiums that are full ownership. Mm -hmm. And the idea there is that you actually get hotel services in your residences, but you still have the privacy of your entrance, and you have all the luxury of living in a hotel. Who is buying those very expensive apartments and who can pay $2,000 a square foot and who needs all those amenities? I mean, it sounds almost crazy. Being able to press a button downstairs and go to the restaurant and go to the bar and go have meeting rooms and if I want to have breakfast with a client or, 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 or with a friend, for me as somebody that's slightly busy, is, is, is a huge, huge advantage. For the full interview, click on the link below. And now for the news. The subprime mortgage crisis is expected to lead to fourth quarter write-downs of between 30 and $40 billion from major Wall Street banks, according to research firm Portalis Partners. Citigroup said it expects $8 to $11 billion in write-downs in the last quarter of 2007. Write-downs are also expected from Goldman Sachs, Lehman Brothers Holdings, and Merrill Lynch. Depending on the firms, the losses could lead to poor earnings reports by year-end. Citigroup will be getting rid of a building and getting a new chairman and CEO. The bank expects to sell its 2.6 million square foot building at 388 390 Greenwich Street in Tribeca for about $1.6 billion. The price would make it the fourth largest building sale in U.S. history. After subprime woes ended Charles Prince's four-year tenure as Citigroup CEO, Robert Rubin has stepped in as interim chairman. Rubin said he will focus on fixing the bank's subprime mortgage problems and write-downs of up to $13 billion. Pop superstar Elton John is planning a memorial concert for slain celebrity real estate agent Linda Stein, with the proceeds going to breast cancer research, according to media reports. John is the godfather of Stein's daughter Mandy. Governor Elliot Spitzer's $100 million plan to help homeowners avoid foreclosure has been slow to address the state's subprime mortgage crisis. Announced in July, it had just one refinancing in the pipeline at October's end. The state mortgage agency has not been able to help homeowners refinance into 30 or 40 year fixed rate loans because lenders can't work out manageable terms. Two well-known architects are designing the conversion and expansion of one of the International Toy Center buildings at 1107 Broadway. John Pawson designed Ian Schrager's 50 Grand Mercy Park North, and Uren Chen formerly worked for Perkins Eastman. Yitzhak Tesler bought the building three months ago for $235 million. New prices show a doubling of rents at the LaFrock Organization's 40 West 57th Street in the past five years. Bank of America paid somewhere in the mid-60s per square foot in 2002, but recently, Taconic Capital Advisors signed a 10-year lease for 50,000 square feet at $120 per square foot. The building is 100% leased, but Bank of America is moving to its new headquarters at Douglas Durst's 1 Bryant Park in 2009. A 150-room Orient Express Hotel is planned for the Midtown Public Library site and will have a new brand name, 21 Hotel. The $220 million project includes $59 million the company will pay for the Donnell Branch Library on West 53rd Street. The library will be housed in the new building, which will also include a spa and a restaurant. Thank you for joining us for this edition of The Real Deal webcast. Remember to click on the link below for this week's interview. Please join us every week for the latest in real estate news. I'm Adrienne Lavalley, and this is The Real Deal.